if while performing track system inspection you noticed idler wheels polish more on one side compared to the opposite side one side of track lug is smeared cracked torn chunked or shaved off and all toe adjustments are correct on the front axle of an 8RX tractor. A track alignment issue may be indicated. Wear on side of track lugs can also be caused by improper break-in or excessive side heel operation. In this video, we will discuss proper track alignment checks and necessary adjustments on track tractors. Begin by fabricating a shim gauge tool to check track alignment. This tool can be fabricated out of mild plate steel. Cut shim 77 millimeters or 3 inches wide by 204 millimeters or 8 inches long. Three thicknesses of these shims are needed depending upon options and the tractor model you are checking. Drive tractor straight forward with no steering or brake input on flat ground for a minimum of 45 meters or 150 feet. Place in neutral and allow tractor to coast to a stop. Once tractor rolls to a stop, place in park and turn engine off without touching steering wheel. With shim flat on track belt, slide between the track lugs and front mid roller on the outboard side of track. Repeat this procedure on the inboard side of track. If this shim slides freely between the front mid roller and track lug on both sides, track is aligned properly. No adjustment is necessary. If, however, this shim does not fit between the track lug and front mid roller on one side, an adjustment is required. Alignment adjustment screws are located on the outboard and inboard side of each track frame at the front idler wheel. Cast next to this screw is an indicator showing direction track moves when adjustment screw is turned. Before adjusting, check area inside track frame for debris buildup preventing lever movement. Make sure that it also has room to move in both directions. Adjustment screws are threaded into this lever. When tightened, they push against the opposite side of the track frame, forcing lever to pivot, thus moving the front idler wheel. Important: Before tightening an adjustment screw, you must first loosen the opposite side adjustment screw. This provides space for the lever to move. Failure to do so can damage track frame as shown here. To avoid damage to track frame and screws, Use only unpowered hand tools to tighten screws. Begin adjustment by removing lock plates on both the inboard and outboard adjustment screws. If your shim did not fit between lug and front mid roller on the inboard side, an adjustment requires track to move towards the outboard side. First, loosen the inboard adjustment screw no more than one turn. Tighten the outboard adjustment screw one half turn one turn is recommended as the maximum adjustment. However, it is best to begin with a smaller adjustment. Tighten adjustment screw that was first loosened to 300 Newton meters or 221 pound feet of torque. Tighten opposite adjustment screw that was turned inward to 300 Newton meters or 221 pound feet of torque. Install lock plates, spacer, and bolt. These lock plates are reversible. Turning plate over doubles the available index increments. If a position on the plate is not available, torque can be increased slightly to advance to the next available lock plate position. Tighten lock plate cap screws to 130 Newton meters or 95 pound feet of torque. Verify adjustment by operating tractor for 5 to 10 minutes, making several directional turns. Recheck alignment again by driving tractor straight forward with no steering or brake input on flat ground 
for a minimum of 45 meters or 150 feet. Place in neutral and allow tractor to coast to a stop. Place in park and turn engine off without touching steering wheel. Repeat chim gauge check between the track lugs and front mid roller on both outboard and inboard sides of track. Readjust or make fine adjustments as needed. Recheck track alignment after 100 hours of field operation. One other maintenance item on track tractors is to check and adjust drive wheel scrapers. Each drive wheel uses a scraper to remove material buildup on drive wheels. Excess material buildup on drive wheels can damage your track belt carcass. Adjust scraper to achieve a clearance of 2.5 millimeters or 3 seconds inch to a maximum of 4 millimeters or 5 seconds inch between the face of the drive wheel and scraper. If scraper edge is worn, this scraper can be flipped end to end to expose a new edge. Edge of scrapers can also be ground flat or replaced with new scrapers. Once an adjustment is completed, tighten cap screws to 128 Newton meters or 94 pound-feet of torque.